Hey everybody, it's Haley of Moss Child Cosplay, and this week we're doing something very different. This week I'm actually going to be trying to make my Halloween costume in one day. So today is Sunday, so I'm not entirely sure if I'll finish this up early enough to edit and upload tonight, or if I end up finishing this at like 10 o'clock at night and I have to post this Monday evening. I guess I should let you guys know what I'm doing for Halloween. I'm going to be doing Chun-Li Alpha. I'm doing a bodysuit with a matching sort of crop top, and I already have my fabric picked out. I was super fortunate, so most of you are probably thinking to yourselves, like, wait, Haley, didn't you say like two days ago that you weren't doing that anymore? because you couldn't find fabric? The answer is yes. Um, and that's because I just went to one local Joann's and then I hit up Walmart because I was like, maybe fucking Walmart will have what I need. So this morning, Sunday morning, I woke up and I was like, all right, I'm going to do Chun-Li. My husband already has his Ryu costume. Like, I just need to suck it up and not put so much pressure on myself because it's fucking Halloween. So I drove 45 minutes down to the Joann's in Albany. They had the Yaya Han matte spandex in both this nice yellow and the blue that I need. So I grabbed half a yard of the yellow because I'm just using this for the stripes on the legs. And I got two yards of this blue because I'm making the rest of the bodysuit out of this. And then for the crop top thing, I got a yard of this regular blue cotton and then half a yard of this yellow. And this is just for the detail pieces. I got half a yard just in case I mess up so I can go ahead and redo the designs. And then of course, I also got yellow bias tape and a white separating zipper. All of this came to about $45, which honestly, that's about the same price that I'd be paying for a Halloween costume. And I'd actually prefer this because one, it gives me something to do, and then two, like, I can't wear women's Halloween costumes. They're too big. I have to chop from the children's section. Like literally this year, after I went and didn't get fabric for Chun-Li yesterday, I went next door to the Halloween store and tried on like a handful of women's costumes, just trying to find something. And they were all just really, really baggy. They like, it was not a good look. So I would much rather spend the money and make myself a costume that I know I'll feel happy in and that will be comfortable and fit me well than spend $45 on a costume that I have to alter and that I might not even be happy with the finished product. You know what I mean? So we're gonna try this. Um, I did forget to get some stuff. I'll go ahead and tell you that for the sake of like transparency. Uh, I needed to get yellow ribbon for the hair and then I have to get some canvas shoes. I'm also using two patterns for this costume. For the bodysuit, I'm using this McCall's pattern. You're probably wondering, why not use the Aya Han pattern? This one has less seam lines. That's really it. For the crop top, I will be using this. And this is actually my favorite pattern. So we're gonna start doing time lapse and I'll come back whenever it's done. So I've already got my base bodysuit cut out of my nice matte lycra. It's at this point that I realized I got way too much fabric. So I got two yards. I definitely could have gotten away with a yard and a quarter, give or take. I'm going to be holding on to this fabric because it is pretty nice and I'm sure I can find a use for it, much like all of my other fabrics that are literally sitting in a box in the corner of my closet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sew up the seams now, uh, maybe try it on and see exactly how thick I want these yellow stripes. Okay, so this is the basic bodysuit all put together. I used view B. The only thing is I thought that this might be a little too short, so I added some length to the bottom. And I added way too much. I'm thinking that, yeah, I'm gonna have the stripes be about an inch thick. I'm thinking half an inch gap and then the other inch stripe kind of towards the back over here. We're making good time so far. It's only been like an hour and a half. So I've got all of my little yellow strips cut out and my next step is to go ahead and take the side seam out of this bodysuit. On the front part, I'll be cutting away an inch from the edge and then sewing in one strip. And then on the back part, I will be cutting in um, an inch and three quarters. 
just like one line and then I'll be sewing this in between like that strip that I cut out and the rest of the suit. For now, I'm going to go ahead and, and like I said, take this apart. So I went ahead and I got all the strips sewn in. They're really, really nice. I'm actually really happy with this. I think it's about four o'clock now. No, it's probably about five. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that somewhere along the way, the bottom of this leg uh, got fucked up and it's twisting really bad. You can still kind of see. So I'm just gonna kind of fiddle around with it and see what all I can do. I got the whole leg thing figured out. Typically twisting only happens when you don't cut it on grain. Like when I made it the first time, it fit right. So something happened with the yellow stripes. I'm assuming something like I just cut it a little bit off, but I, I ended up fixing it by taking out the line of stitching from the knee down and just with the, the suit on carefully realigning um, everything. So that way, you know, the, the parts will stretch in such a way that the seams go where they're supposed to. It's about six o'clock now. So I'm gonna go use the bathroom and eat some dinner and I'm going to finish the sleeves. I'm not gonna finish the neck. Neck's going to be hidden by the like top thing. So I don't see much of a point in finishing that. So now that I got another break out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and start on the top. I'm just using the bodice part. So no sleeves, uh, no skirt. Once I get the bodice fitted, then I'll add the collar, but that's not my priority right now. So let's go ahead and get that cut out of my blue fabric. All right, so this is the top so far. This is literally just like the base of it. And I guess I'll explain really quick because I did make some alterations to the pattern. So obviously one of the big things is the pattern does not feature any sort of front separation. And then the original pattern, the back center has a zipper. So I just lined up the back center with the fold of the fabric and cut the back on the fold. Yeah, I'm thinking an inch and a half short, shorter. Um, I'm going to be taking in the shoulders a little bit by like an inch up top and then tapering that down. From there, I'll just have to do the gold details. We're definitely like on track to get this done by tonight. I think it's like 8.30 now. Also, I forgot to record all of the sewing for the top. So I'm on to like the third from last step, which is to go ahead and draw all the gold slash yellow designs out. Um, transfer them over to some heat and bond and then of course to my my cotton and then put them on there So let's go ahead and get that done I've All right, so everything is drawn and adhered so I'm going to go ahead and cut these out uh, line up the designs on what I have for the top and iron them on Okay, so all of the yellow detailing is ironed on and it's pretty symmetrical. It's the way that I was doing everything is I would take the pieces, I would iron the decal onto one side, fold it over and like put pins in to try and like line everything up on the other side. Yeah, so now I'm gonna start working on the collar. And then after that, I put the bias tape on and install the zipper and then I'm done. Wow, fuck yeah. My phone died, so I didn't get to record me cutting out or interfacing the collar, but it's a thing. I'm going to sew it on right now. Delilah, you're so cute. So it's like a little past 12 now, and as you can see, I've got the collar added and all of the bias trim added but also I've got everything on and I'm actually really happy with how everything turned out. I don't know, I feel like everything really balances out well. Everything fits well, which is more than I can say about a lot of Halloween costumes that you can get off the rack. And for a day's worth of work, this turned out really well. Let me put my camera thing down and I'll show you. So I do have a couple of smaller things that I need to finish up still. I have to do the little bracelets and then I have to get ribbon for the hair. And then of course I got to figure out the shoe situation. Good job, Haley. Good shit. I'm really, really, really happy with this. But yes, <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me on my, my weird Halloween journey. Maybe I'll make this like an annual thing on my channel. Who knows? 
But for now, I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you really liked my stuff, you should go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, blah, 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 whatever. Stick around. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. And if I don't see you next week, maybe I'll see you at a convention. Maybe I'll be wearing Chun-Li. Who fucking knows? 